Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. So as you know, I love to get right to the point. And if you are purchasing or purchased a Blue Rams camera, this is exactly what you'll be getting. This is exactly what you'll be hearing in terms of audio. And for video, this is what you'll be seeing. So I was going to give you guys an unboxing video showing you what's in this box, what Blue Rams are packaged with this device. Of course, you get a nice long enough cable, you get brackets that you, well, a bracket, one bracket. You get a bracket that you can mount to different surfaces so this camera can be placed in different positions. Of course, with that bracket, you get your plugs and screws, um, but you know, while thinking about it, I was like, no. A lot, of, a lot of unboxing videos are already out there, so I think persons will appreciate a video where they can actually see footage of the camera that they want to purchase. So from this video you will see the footage, you will also get the audio, a sense of the audio that comes out of this device. And also a feel you know, of how well it connects to Wi-Fi and you know, how well it will communicate with your device. So that's what this video is all about. Hopefully, you're trying to invest in a product, you know, for your home security, your premises, outdoors, indoors, or to monitor your child. Hopefully, this video will help you to make a better purchasing decision. So that's what we're gonna do. Instead of an, just an unboxing, you're gonna see more of this Blue Rams product. Alright guys, so I'm in a little bit of a dark environment, it's not too too dark, it's not very bright, but it, it's definitely darker than where we were before. But um, this is actually what you'll be seeing, you know, it's, it's a darker environment. Um, you're still able to see my surroundings, see me clearly, and that's exactly how it will be in your home. This is exactly how it will be in your home, this is exactly the audio that you'll be getting from this device um the thing is hopefully you appreciate how i'm bringing this video to you i'm using the device itself to you know have you guys see and hear how it will actually be a lot of times you know youtubers may be doing videos and you know we're trying to explain when we could just really show it is the fact that you get a really wide view of pretty much anywhere you place this camera you get a really wide view of your surroundings so right here i should not be in the view of the camera it is at the angle it will quickly be But based on the feel of your this camera, how it's designed, you get a really, really wide view of your surroundings. All right, so right now shades are down, less light coming in. I'm gonna also turn off the and dim the monitor. All right, so a little bit darker um, environment, light. There's still a little bit of light coming in, um, but you can still see my environment. Um, I don't know if you can see my ID. You can still see my headphones. You can still see Audio Technica on the top. But yeah. A little bit, a little bit um, darker. I'm gonna now close the windows, and you guys will be seeing me in total darkness. All right. So one little thing that I realize is, all right, you're looking.
let you know you're you're not able to see my face clearly. You're seeing my background, so it's exposing for the background. And if I should cover and allow it to capture the exposure or catch the exposure once again, it still adjusts to expose or show my background. So you're still not able to see me, you're still not able to see my face. Um, I'm dark for my background, it's, it's exposing for my background. What this camera should be doing is exposing for the object that's closer. It should detect that it's a human in its presence and then expose for the person, not for the background. So that's one flaw. So if you're in a if you have your camera in an environment that is always bright, you might find that you know you have this problem. However, if I should turn All right, so now you're able to see me. The background is not so bright. You're able to see me in all my glory. So if you're wondering, in terms of night vision, what it would look like, this is a probably dark in a room. But I'm gonna I'm gonna close those two windows, and you're gonna see what it's like in pitch black darkness. But for right now, there's a little bit of light coming in. You're still able to see. But you know, night vision is turned on, um, and you know, I get some light from outside, so that's assisting the camera. But um, we're gonna put it on in pitch full black, pitch black darkness, and you're gonna see exactly how well this camera works. So one thing for sure, I love the way of this device is small and compact. You can twist, you can turn, you can pretty much mount in any position. You have a memory card slot on the device so you can store to it locally as opposed to the cloud. And you have a large enough speaker on the rear to communicate with persons who are in the vicinity of this camera. Now as mentioned before in this video, you do get a pretty long cable. It's about 5.5 to 6 meters in length. However, what I love most of all about it is that Blue Rams decided to give you that 90 degree bend right at the end of the connector. So yo, here's the thing. If based on where your power outlet is, it's still going to be too far, too, you know, long of a distance for that cable, then you can always get a power bank and use it to power this device. Yeah. So this is me in total darkness. Just a little bit of light coming in from the monitor, not much, but this is what you see or what a camera sees in total darkness. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs that are really used to illuminate or provide visibility for the camera. But yeah, we're in total darkness and the camera is still seeing everything that it, that it can. Um, one more test I want to do is to go as far away from the camera as possible and um, allow you guys to um, hear the audio. You might have this set up in your own. Somebody is on another side of the room. I know you want to hear from now, you know, is it possible to hear the audio or hear how clear they may be speaking? So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I hope you guys have the appreciation. But uh, for me, the audio is not, the video is quite fine, but the audio uh, is, could, you know, do with some work. Okay, I'm back outside. It's the day to do with a function that you see over below here. Not sure if you're hearing that, um, but you should be hearing me. I'm still a few meters away from the camera. There's no wall, not many walls or sounds to go from. But um, hopefully, you're hearing me. Um, 
far away over that side. So you guys should move closer, closer, closer. Sound test, one, two, three. Sound test, one, two, three. We know the level of audio. We know the level of, um, well, sound level. Hopefully, this works. So this, this is just a sound test. <laughs> this is just a sound test for you guys to know whether or not, you know, it's, if the quality of the audio is you know, ideal for you, if this device is worth purchasing. Um, you may want to put this in your home where you want to hear what's happening in your background. Um, so this test is just for you to know whether or not it will work. Um, in terms of video, perfect. This is recorded in full HD, full 1080p, and um, pretty much everything on the outside here. It's, not, it's a cloudy day but you're still supposed to see everything clearly. So overall, I've, I, this is not a bad camera, but the audio needs a bit of work. If you need this to monitor just the video aspect of your premises, then it's all in all a great device. But if you need audio, then you're gonna have a bit of problems right there. But thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, thank you for liking, and if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment. Yo, as always, bless up and peace.